I will answer you, inshallah. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm sorry if I am anything done wrong, uh, ask you anything wrong. No problem. I appreciate it. Thank you. Abu Yusuf, uh, he's a frequent caller, Zallah Khair. And he, his first question is about those who raise their voices while praying. Now, the sunnah is for the imam to raise his voice. This is no problem in that because he is the one who's leading the prayer. Now, the followers, when they raise their voices, if they raise their voices in an extent that annoys and disturbs those praying next to them, this is not permissible. However, those praying next to that individual should be careful not to fall into the traps of shaitan. Why? Sometimes it is truly annoying when someone next to you is reciting the Fatiha in a loud voice. Now we're both it's a silent rak'ah, and he is trying to push away shaitan and the whispers of Satan by raising his voice so that he would not have any whispers. But, but while doing this, he's becoming my shaitan. So next to me, he is reciting, This is how high he is. And I'm trying to recite, and I'm making mistakes. Because I know the surah he's reciting, and he's reciting it too loud. This is acceptable for you to be annoyed and distracted. But if the man is barely mumbling, so he's saying, you can hardly distinguish what he's saying, yet you feel distracted and annoyed, there's something wrong with you. Because this is the norm, that you make yourself listen to what you recite, but in a very, very undistinguished tone and uh, uh, way so that those around you would not be distracted. You cannot just recite without having any noise at all because then you would fall under the influence of shaitan whispering to you, distracting you. You finish four rak'ahs and I don't know what I recited. Seriously, I, I was lost. So we have to a little bit do this. And we have a hadith. When the Prophet والسلام, in prayer after concluded it, cl concluding it, heard the man saying, Allahumma lakal hamd, hamdan kathiran, tayyiban, mubarakan fi." The Prophet said, who said this? And the man said, I did. And the Prophet told him about the virtues of saying it. He did not tell him, why did you raise your voice? Because it seems that his voice was not that high. So this hadith shows that the companions may have uttered and verbalize some of the things that we say silently, but this was not the norm, this was not as frequent as we hear nowadays from the people, as Abu Yusuf stated, saying Subhana Rabbi al Azim in a loud voice, where, or, or in a bee like voice, where it dis totally distracts you and makes you uh, forget where you were and what you were saying.